Around the Ozarks tonight, some much needed financial support has made it possible for one fire department in the Ozarks to upgrade, even adding more full time firefighters to its staff. Color 10's Crystal Blair stopped by the Central Crossing Fire Protection District near Shell Knob to find out more. Crystal. Well, Heather, I spoke with the fire chief there at the Central Crossing Fire Protection District, and he tells me that the upgrade to their department is much needed. And because the taxpayers in their community recognize that need, they're able to add more full-time firefighters. The Central Crossing Fire Protection District is in the process of seeing better days. Rusty Rickard is chief. Getting dorm rooms in for those uh, new employees, uh, Kitchen upgrades. Uh, the kitchen here was quite uh, unusable. The building here was uh, right at about 18 years old. I've seen no updates, no upgrades during that time. Um, so, uh, quite an extensive remodel. Compliments of the taxpayers. Well, thankfully, we we're quite blessed last April. Um, voters here passed not only one, but two tax levies. The first being just continued operational support of the district, uh, upgrades to equipment, trucks, uh, personal protective equipment, all the way down to rescue equipment, hoses, nozzles, uh, you name it. Plus, more manpower is on the way. We'll have, have to initially hire six, uh, which will let us start with having two on staff. Uh, every day, so there'll be you know three shifts, two firefighters each shift. In addition to funding from the taxpayers, a much needed grant is also helping with this upgrade. We finally got a notification and we were lucky to get about $160,000, $165,000 CBA grant. Battalion Chief Ed Hafler says that FEMA grant means more lives protected. That's what we use to uh, maintain breathable air when we go into toxic environments, structure fires, car fires, uh, mop up, or questionable atmospheres. Chief Rickard tells me that this, because of this money, they were also able to upgrade their security system there at the department. And he says that they're hoping to add those full-time firefighters by the end of this coming summer. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. Crystal, thank you. Also.